You'll see the action right here. Here's the scoring opportunity and just a horrible shot. Oh, here we go, Hartman and Miller. Two guys just ready to explode. Hartman and Jay Miller. Miller going over and under, over and under. Hartman coming back with a little bit of his own now. And down he goes, and that's it. It's the end of it. I think Hartman's arms grew about a foot and a half <laughs> from last season. Just from hanging on to guys. <laughs> it was very difficult to figure out who started this fight. Watch, here they are right here. Now, you see the right hand? First of all, he takes a swing, and then Hartman comes back with some of his own. So, I don't know. Discretionary call. And I was saying about Hartman, his arms getting longer. When he first came into the NHL, he used to hold on a lot. Now, he's turned into a pretty decent fighter, and he, he's throwing his left and his right like anyone else. And there's Barbara Streisand right there. And does her hair with a stick of dynamite? A stick of dynamite? Well, you are, you are really it kind of you all are, over the place. You're really cruel. I you guess are. I am. You I are. guess it. Well, it didn't look that hot, Ted. You kind of expect a little more than Jeez. that from Barbara Streisand. Surely she has enough time to at least blow dry it. That Koopa knocked that one away to the far boards. Ambrosia. He'll pick it up. Gets it just over the blue line. And Priestley, he was hit on the far side by McSorley. And McSorley is going to go to the penalty box for nailing Priestley on the far board. Marty McSorley goes for boarding. He didn't play the last game. He set out a game suspension. Now watch this check right here. Priestley's back is turned. They're trying to stop this in the National Hockey League. Benoit Hogue picked up two penalties in one game last week doing the same thing. The penalty was called. Not only that, but the Elbers were up a little high. Priestley's very short. McSorley's on the tall side. He might have to get down on his knees if he wants to check him properly. But you can't really nail a guy hard from behind. You can give him a shove. But if you're going to throw him head first into the boards, you're gone. How do you like that for a shot? <laughs> Eerie. Halloween shot. Leading the rush for L.A. and over the line. Mogilny with it again. No, he lost it. And it's knocked away by Rutu to center. And they whistled the play down at the Buffalo Blue Line. And one of the Kings rather upset. Robitaille just slammed his stick onto the ice. Here comes Casper in over the line. Lost it and Rutu. He'll send it the length of the ice. Is it going to go? Is it going? It's going. Oh, it's in. in. It's in. He scores. It's in. There's Rutu. no doubt about it. Just got in over the goal line. The Buffalo Sabres with a 4-2 lead. It hit the goal post. The light went on. It hit the post, and it looked like it wasn't going over the line, and it got the good bounce. It hit the inside of the post, and there's another game that Buffalo will win by scoring four or more goals. Here it is right here. Watch, it'll hit the inside of the post. Now, well, watch it goes along the... Watch as he oh, banged he, it in himself. Yeah, he put it in. He put it in himself. It wasn't going in. No, no wonder DeShane started screaming at the referee and the goal judge. Uh, here it is. Hey, was there an earthquake here? Right there. He just gives it a little tap over the line. That's yeah, it. About an inch or two. And, and there's three seconds remaining. And the Buffalo Sabres, after losing six straight, have come back with two wins. And they move now to within a point of the first place Boston Bruins in the Adams Division with 56 points. And the Bruins on top with 57. And there's a look at a very happy Buffalo Sabres hockey team as they get ready to leave early tomorrow morning. And the fly back to Buffalo. Shots on goal, 35 shots for the Buffalo, for the uh, Los Angeles Kings, and 22 for the Buffalo Sabres. So the final score, the Sabres defeating the Kings by 4-2. This period of Buffalo Sabres hockey has been brought to you by the crisp, clean taste of Labatt's Blue. It's Blue Heaven. And we'll return to the Forum at Los Angeles in just a moment. The Buffalo Sabres 4, the Los Angeles Kings 2. You're watching Buffalo Sabres hockey.